Welcome back folks to another episode with the FC United and another episode in the League Division 2. Well we only played a couple of games since the last episode, since our first episode in here and um, I'm wondering whether we're too good to be for this division I'm wondering. Things could all change very drastically but uh, I'll show you what I mean and I'll show you the last game for starters. Well, we get off to a flyer very early on around about the 25th minute. And uh, we're doing really well at this point. We are away at Mansfield, do not forget. Uh, ignore the score in the top left-hand corner. I'm sure you've all seen it already. But it just kind of spoils it a little bit. We race to a 3-0 victory, uh, lead, should I say. Not a victory, but Fowler gets in the act. Everybody's scoring. Everybody's having a little bit of fun. And uh, Mansfield do get a goal back, though, to make it 3-1. Somehow he gets in behind our defence. Lord knows how. But then we make a couple of changes. Garrity comes on, Adebayi comes on, and uh, Johnson comes on, and he does that. That's what happens. The three, uh, I think it was the three uh, substitutes that uh, did all that. Uh, unless Adebayi starts from, I can't remember. But Harry Green tops it all off with a superb finish from the left hand side. Uh, 5 1. 5 1 away at Mansfield. Now, you tell me that we are not a, a League 2 side at the minute. <laughs> Are we too good? It remains to be seen. But a 2.16 XG against a 1.6. Away from home, 15 shots, 8 on target. We dominated. 50-50% uh, possession. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, it didn't feel like that. Where we, It felt a bit like 80-20, if that. But that is a fantastic result. And the game beforehand, all right, 1-1. Um, we're just finding our feet in this division. But yeah, 5-1. I can't believe we 5-1. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing for that. I, I just can't believe it. Littlewood scoring. Martel, Taylor, Crossdale scoring. Fowler, Johnson and ha um, Green as we all saw. Uh, the previous game it was Fowler who came to the rescue. Uh, we were, Again that was another game that we should have won. But um, you know we're really finding our feet. And uh, we found it in Mansfield apparently. That's where, that's where it all happened. But yeah 5-1. But today we've got Rochdale and then we have... Uh, Chesterfield as well in the league. Uh, the table looks a little bit like this. I'm quite pleased with that. After three games, where we are lying in ninth position, just outside the playoffs, so two wins would be uh, would see us up there even further. Mansfield near the bottom, so I was quite pleased with that. Uh, Chesterfield are twentieth, and um, Rochdale they are in fifth position. So that's going to be a tough game. And Rochdale we have played previously before, so uh, always a tough game with uh, with them. Uh, at the moment, Harry Green's uh, average ratings are pretty high up, so we're going to carry on using. Harry Green's got a couple of assists as well. We're not on the score sheet yet for um, better players, but um, we are on the yellow cards, though. We've got two so far, so we're a joint top with that, so nothing to be proud of, I feel. So, yeah, not a bad start, but also we have got another transfer to talk about, another late uh, comer, Josh Taylor. You're probably thinking, why do we need another left back? Uh, well, I'll tell you in just a second, but uh, we bring him, this chap in, 27 years old, and uh, we bring him on a free from Chester, originally at Stoke. Uh, I think he looks pretty decent. He's 5 foot 10, he's quite quick and pacey. Uh, he's got good crossing abilities. He's got very long, th good long throws, which we definitely need, uh, although he's yet to uh, throw one in there yet. But yes, yeah, so very uh, long, long throws. And uh, overall, it's not too bad at all. He shoots with power, so that's pretty good. So if you can get a shot, so a free kick taken, you'd expect to be pretty good or long shots. Uh, yeah. So what's the point in shooting? I, I don't get it. But apart from that, yeah, I'm quite pleased to see Joel Taylor come to the side. And this is probably the reason why. Jurovic has left the building. Yeah, he's uh, he's gone. He wasn't happy, but we do make a little bit of money on him. Uh, we get him on a free, even though it says he's gone to Melbourne City, but we do uh, sell him for thirty thousand pound up front with additional costs leading up to thirty seven. So it's a little bit of money for us. And financially, we're just under two million uh, with a lot of money coming in as well. And uh, yeah, wait, wages are causing a little bit of a stir. I feel. But as long as we're on the budget, we should be okay. And uh, as long as we keep making money, it doesn't matter. But at the moment, we're running at a loss. But we have played only one game at home so far. So we've got a couple of two home games coming up. So hopefully we might make a little bit of inroads that way. But yeah, not too bad. And uh, yeah, very sad to see uh, Jorovic go. I um, wasn't happy he wanted to leave. He 
he wanted to go, so we had to let him. But I feel like Josh Taylor seems to be a little bit more better. He definitely can throw longer than it. For, he definitely can throw further than him, that's for sure. That's as it stands at the moment, so I'm really, really pleased with that. Really pleased. And uh, if the things are going the way they are going, uh, we'll be up near the top in no time. So Cambridge, uh, Yeovil and Swindon occupy the automatic places so far. Southend, who we uh, drew with. Rochdale, who we got next. Fleetwood and Harrogate are just above us as well. So hopefully we... Uh, well, let's make a dent in them. Let's make ourselves known in this league, shall we? And I think we have done against Mansfield, especially 5-1. Notts County, bottom of the table. Maybe they don't go back down. Right, okay, let's move along to the, have a look at the team selection then. We're going to have Boston in goal. I not, don't think I'm going to have him as a goalkeeper. Uh, Under-21s are automatically eligible to play matches. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> Okay, uh, we've got Boston in goal, we've got Dutton, Driscoll, we've got uh, Littlewood and Taylor. We almost had in Joseph Joseph in, but he's not quite fit yet. He can play up to 45 minutes, I think he was, but he's not fit yet. Um, we've got Hawkins on the right, Brennan, Green and Green, the two Greens. I'm not sure whether they're siblings. Uh, we've got Kieran Green, who's uh, 26 years old, and we've got Harry Green, who's 21 years old. I'm not sure whether they're... Um... Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, information. I'm not sure whether they're uh, related. Doesn't appear so, but you never know. It just probably hasn't mentioned it. So we're going with the Green Brothers. And uh, well, we'd like to say Green and Green, H and K. I don't know. Uh, Brennan Hawkins with Fowler and the Crossdale up front. Fenton's not yet there, but he's uh, almost there. Fe 70, he can play in five minutes, so we'll bring him on for Linny. Sorry, Linny, but uh, we're going to bring Fenton in. Hopefully, he can. Uh, sort ourselves out as well on the on the bench right so the first of our two games then at home the first one so uh let's go out there and finish off where we left off then please we'll give him all the uh, fist pump uh it's not faith anymore is it i suppose it is a little bit facebook with a punch let's kick things off let's get into the matters and uh let's um well let's not lose uh home form we've gone 10 games unbeaten at home so far so let's keep that run going it's a poor throw it's a good throw but I would expect a little bit better and more directed when probably away from the goalkeepers. The ball's been lofted forward and so Dutton wins it. Well played. And that's what you want from our full-backs. Boson kicks it out to Taylor who then puts it up the line to Green. To Green and then straight back down the line. Green, Green. Uh, Crossdale not really getting on it. But it's a good interception by Littlewood. Who I nearly took, uh, took out for um, Joseph. But I'm glad uh, I didn't in the end. And uh, we've just hit the post. It's managed to stay out somehow. It stayed out. That's a good effort. And uh, it just feels like our forwards are a little bit lapsy daisy at the moment. I think we need to get Fenton in there ASAP. As the cross comes in. The throw in. It's gone in. Uh, Jay Littlewood has scored again. I don't think I can drop him at the minute. Uh, Driscoll's play. They're very solid at the back. That's what we can say. And the formation isn't exciting. But it does get us results, and if it's a point or a three points, I'll take it. And at the moment, we're not losing, but we have uh, sprung into second place. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We're into second place. I mean, stop the stop it there. Stop the press. Uh, there's a tackle there. Hawkins is going to be a little bit of trouble here, and the referee is giving him a yet yeah, no booking. Okay, just a little bit of a talking to. That's okay. Just watch yourself, Hawkins, please. Uh, so Johnson we can bring in and uh, wow the goalkeeper just stood there Boson uh, obviously wasn't worth the point diving he so he reckoned uh, Taylor into Crossdale then okay, we're going to push the ball into the centre Fowler can't wait for Fenton to come back he'll give him all a kick up the backside as well up front and uh, that's an opportunity then Crossdale's gone and got his second goal so he started to make inroads as well I think he's too good for this division Crossdale and to be perfectly honest, I think majority of our players are. And the two greens are uh, combining together. Harry and Kieran, well played. And uh, Crossdale gets in front of his man. We're turning up at home to Rochdale. This is uh, pretty neat. And I'm very excited. Right, an opportunity now for Rochdale to come forward. We've uh, got uh, surpassed up to 40 minutes now. And the ball's been played through. Uh, Crossdale again. Oh, it's a good save. A nice dive that by the goalkeeper. We are expecting goalkeepers to be a little bit better in this division. And uh, the cross comes in too close to the goalkeeper. McGill uh, saves it. South end are uh, jumped. Uh, Leapfrog does the service. Harrogate as well. Have they just gone one nil up? Mansfield are winning though. Away from home. Surprise, surprise. And uh, we're literally on top of this game. And 
you would expect that being at home and that form at the moment. But uh, Gary Gardner's coming on for Kieran Miles, so that's uh, lovely. But yeah, Harrogate are now, uh, I'm assuming they're winning now, aren't they, I guess. I'm just trying to find out where Harrogate are. Notts County are tuning up as well, so they're off the bottom. And uh, we, we consider the throw in here, but we do uh, knock it away. We're chasing him down, nice. This is good stuff. I mean, this is good football. I like it. Uh, we are playing very well. I mean, the, the, uh, ooh, he's given a penalty. He didn't have to do that. He tripped him up. He did put him off, though, to be fair, with the shot going wide. So I thought that was a certain goal. But I thought he did enough to put him off, but clearly not. And uh, Boston saved it. I think uh, he hasn't conceded a penalty yet, <laughs> which, is, uh, which is really bizarre. So that's two penalties missed against our lads. And um, Boston with a save there. Again, he didn't feel like diving, so he didn't. I think we've got a very, very good goalkeeper in Boston. I really do. But he is looking for his first clean sheet. And uh, Rochdale come at us again. I think we do need to change a few players around. Looking a little bit tired and a little bit spent as well, I think. As we intercept that, Brennan, well played. Uh, Driscoll, it's not a bad ball, but uh, Crossdale's on it again. He's hit the post. He's not having much luck, is he, Crossdale? Uh, he's getting a few shots on. He's scored a couple of goals. He's scored a goal, actually, not a couple. Uh, we're going to make a couple of changes now as well. So what worked for us last time, Johnson came on as well. So that was pretty good. I don't think we've got anybody. Uh, yes, we have. We've got Ziani or Salam. Uh, I'm going to bring Salam in there. He needs, his, uh, he needs to um, get a little bit of confidence going as well. Fenton, I'm very desperate to get on. Very desperate. But uh, Josh Taylor at left back. Uh, we've got nobody else to come in. Spence can play uh, in midfield as well. I do want to bring take Brennan off. But with 12 minutes to go, should we? I'm going to bring Spence in. Let Spence have a little bit of game time as well. I'm pressing buttons there. I'm not sure what I'm doing. But yeah, substitutions. We'll just take a break, give some of our players a break. And uh, that'll uh, ease us away into the 90th minute. And uh, another victory. Uh, we're starting to make a roll on here as well now. So we're moving along. Two wins on the bounce. Two draws, two wins. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. And... Uh, 1.75 to 1.4. Chuffed with that as well. Moving along then straight to the Chesterfield game. We've got Boston in goal. We've got Dutton, Joseph. Joseph returns. Uh, Littlewood is going to play alongside him. So Driscoll is uh, dropped to the bench. We've got Taylor, Hawkins at Brenham, and Green and Green. Then Fowler and uh, Crossdale up front. Fenton is on the bench. I might play him this game. Uh, give him some game time. He can play up to 75 minutes, but we'll see how it goes. Straight to the changing rooms. Pick up where you left off last time, please, fellas. And uh, we're going to jump straight into the matters. We need to... Uh, I say we need... Um, anything rather than be near the bottom, I'd rather... I'd be happy with. Uh, but at the moment, we've beat Rochdale, who were above us. And they were lying in fifth spot at the time. They're not at the minute, because they've dropped right down to tenth. But um, we beat them 2-0. So... We should be able to beat Ro uh, Chesterfield, do you reckon? Chesterfield are one of them teams that you never know what team's going to turn up. So, we'll see what happens. And then again, it's the same with us, actually. We, we go on a good run, and then you never know what sort of team we're going to pull out next. And uh, like this now, so another fantastic save our Boson is That's number one save already. Man of the match last game, don't forget, with five saves. But uh, we get the ball to the other side, but we don't see no highlight for it. We should jump on it, and uh, we should be able to pick that up. Littlewood should cover it very nicely indeed. And uh, there's our fans there, lovely. And nice to feel the stand-up. And um, and that's another fantastic save by Bossin, or Bosin. And let me know in the comments below how you want that pronouncing, because I have uh, Bosin. I want to say Bosin. Uh, that's gone wide as well. Bosin really uh, putting them off there. They are coming at us though, aren't they, really, Chesterfield? But 0-0 against Chesterfield after we've beaten um, Rochdale 2-0. I think it's a pretty disappointing half, to be fair. But Crossdale with a corner. Uh, doesn't find anybody in particular. Though. The crowd go wild as we have the ball around the edge of the box. Kieran to uh, Brennan. Brennan to Fowler. Fowler feeds in Hawkins. and f Well, there we go. And Hawkins slams it in for his first goal of the season. And that's his first goal for FC United of Manchester as well. I don't think it's going to be very long before we find ourselves in the Premiership. I really don't. But if we can get out of League 2 and League 1, then we've just got the battle of getting out of uh, the Championship because that will be a really hard. Um, not saying that the other divisions aren't hard. I think they are. But at the moment, 
things are going well and uh, maybe we've done the right business in the transfer window so we didn't spend that much money just over a hundred grand I think it was and uh, Taylor's done really well down this left hand side if he went out we could have seen one of his long throws but Kapalikis I don't know it's a good tackle Joseph just see how neatly the play what are you doing? It's like a 1 2. What are you playing at? Green, then. Go on, son. He's going to go. Oh, lovely cross. Good header. A foul. A third goal of the season. He's getting a head start of Fenton, that's for sure. And both forwards are playing really, really well at the moment. There's a good uh, chemistry between them both as well. And that's exactly. Uh, see, again, I can't see. Oh, I can't. What, what am I supposed to see here? Why are we seeing that with that there? Come on. Uh, it's a good header there. Good cross. Good header. Goalkeeper was wrong footed, I think. It was a very good header. Crossdale's just got his hands up as well, cheering, but he maybe took the dummy. But uh, at the moment, we're just behind Southend and Cambridge. Cambridge, I would expect to um, get promoted, I would. But, uh, Crossdale, it's a poor effort, but 2 0 at the moment. Looking pretty good. The ball gets lofted forward, and then Littlewood should be able to pick that up. He does. Plays it into Taylor. Taylor into Green. To Green. Kieran to Harry. And uh, look at that. Look at this. Seen the three ball. And uh, wow. What a strike that is. Oh my word. I did not see that coming at all. Rocket. Green just pulls it back and he just lets go with it. I mean, how far is that? I mean, talking what, 40, 45 yards possibly? Incredible. Absolutely incredible, and uh, wow, we've taken the um, second division by storm at the moment. Granted, we're not top of the table, but I just can't get gold of the season. I put it there, unless something else comes better, that's gold of the season. And I'm thinking now, just call it now, as uh, Harry takes it forward. The three ball, he's going to try a long shot. No, it's not as good as Kieran's, though, was it? <laughs> Not as good. He tried. He tried. It wasn't as good. But uh, another throw in. Um, the defender gets in the way of it. But they uh, move away with it very, very quickly down this right hand side. Obviously, spotting out of position. And the uh, cross comes in. I tell you what, our players are very, very good. And it's raced down the other side now. Fowler on it. He forces a save out of the brilliant Ackers. As uh, 20 minutes to go, we want to try and bring a couple of uh, substitutes on as well. As we're going to have a lot of tired players. We may have to change the. Um, corners up a little bit as well because we're just playing it to the uh, front of the uh, uh, post and uh, nobody's there right I want to make subs and I want to do it in just a second so good uh, tackle by Dutton as well at the moment we're playing really well I just don't know how long we could sustain this I'd be great if we could we don't really want um, the competitions to really uh, get in our way but um, to find a way through it and there uh, they finally score his first goal of the season for Lucas Kapaklis. Um, we lose it there. It's a Hong Kong Fu kick. And uh, there we go. Look at it. It's a cracking goal. It's a good goal. It's well taken. It's a good clearance and a good uh, assist as well. As uh, We're going to make a couple of substitutions. A few tired players possibly in the centre. Bill Ben Garrity can come in. And uh, Spence I'm going to put in for Taylor Crossdale and uh, where do you want to go? Where do you want to play? Let's have you attacking up there. See if you can get your first goal and we're going to take Hawkins off as well. There we go. We're going to just make them three substitutions. Probably not the brightest thing to do, three subs, but you know what? We don't really uh, need to worry at the minute. We're 3 1 up as we header it away. We want to try and get Fenton onto the ball, but just give him a little bit of game time, which should be quite nice for him. But uh, if we can get hold of the ball, but I've got a horrible feeling. It's going to be two. It's 3-2 now. So from a very, very good position, we're now gifting them. Uh, we're going to shout at them and demand a little bit more. We don't want to lose this game, not after being in that position. Uh, another opportunity. Dare we? Do we? Oh, I tell you what, Boson was there. And our defender was just in front of him, really put him off. But Boson, not sure where to go with it. He wants to waste a little bit of time. I don't think he can hold on to a ball for over a minute, but Fowler's on it, though. Well, he got tackled, didn't he? Very, very easily. As uh, we get the interception, then give it away straight away. 
Uh, we are losing. The, he's on goal again. Oh my word, it's 3-3. We've just been pegged back 3-3. Chesterfield, where has this come from? I mean, you can't really say that it's the substitutions, but that's poor play again. And we left him again. We just couldn't deal with him. He scored a hat-trick. Is that a hat-trick? I think it's a hat-trick. And we've just given up a three-goal lead. Wow. Um, okay. That's life in the Football League then, is it? That's how it's going to go. We go 3-0 up, and that's what happens. I'm just wondering how good he is. He's got very good finishing. Um, we're going to scout him anyway. And what was he like last season? Maybe it's sort of play that we should have ourselves, I think. But yeah, I'm not very happy about that. We've given up a three-goal lead there. Chesterfield, you could argue, were probably the better side, but uh, you're unlucky. I'm not happy with that performance. We gave away a three-goal lead. What, who does that? They're the type of games we should be winning, but a 3-3. Three, three, well, things were going well. I didn't expect that at all, but uh, I think the most the talking point of the episode, really, is that absolute corker from Kieran uh, Green. What a goal. And I can't believe we've given up a three-goal lead to a team down there near the bottom. And at home. Okay, it doesn't matter. We're, we're still in with the shot. I mean, it's early days, early days. But we didn't lose, which is the main thing. It's goals that we were worried about that we couldn't score. And in the end, uh, we didn't score enough, clearly. We've got Man City under 23s in the Papa John's trophy coming up. We're not going to show you them games. I don't think they're important enough. Obviously, we'll show you the highlights. But yes, it's um, yeah, we're not going to show you that. But uh, goals galore here, three thousand nine hundred seventy-five, excellent stuff. Joseph makes his debut. Clearly, wasn't good enough. <laughs> but I don't think it was his side that uh, conceded them goals. Uh, but it came down that left hand side. Josh Taylor will go and walk about, and then the centre back. Really, to be fair, it's the two centre backs that so will let uh, that chap go. Lucas go. Uh, Jolly opts to stay, so he wants to say Harry Jolly. Nice of him. Wonderful. Right, okay, let's have a look when we're going to be coming back. I mean, at the moment, it looks pretty. Lots of greens and yellow, uh, oranges or yellows or whatever colour they are. We haven't lost. There's no red blip. But uh, that's probably about to change. I'm not sure I want to really play a friendly here. I don't think that's... Um, I don't think we really want to do that. I'm going to cancel the friendly. I don't think we need that friendly. I'm sorry. We don't need to play a friendly there. We're going to cancel it. No need to play a friendly there. Right, we're going to move it on a little bit more. And uh, we're going to come to the end of the uh, month once again. And uh, we're going to be playing uh, Burton, Albion and Tranmere. The build base FA Trophy first round is uh, very soon as well. So if you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more on YouTube channel, please subscribe. And until next time, folks, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.